G'day you good motherfuckers, the Butts Marnie. I hope you're doing real well. Episode one of Cancel Me Now, my brand new podcast, comes out tomorrow with the great vegan booty. She's on the show, it's gonna be a great chat, so make sure you check it out. The link is down below. Go and check out Cancel Me Now. It's gonna be the best damn podcast getting around. Ladies and gentlemen, over the last couple of weeks, I've heard a lot of people talking about libs of TikTok. And I looked into it. And it turns out it's the best Twitter page of all time. It has the most amazing videos and I'm gonna share them all with you today. Whoever runs this page posts the most hilarious shit of all fucking time. But also, after laughing, you sort of look at it and go, fuck me dead, those people exist on the same planet I do. That's terrifying. I am wearing the pants. What is it all? He's wearing the skirt. We're both gay. He's pregnant. And I have a 40 centimeter dick with 5G coverage. And if you say any different, you're a bigot. This is gonna be a strange fucking video. Strap yourselves in. It's only gonna get weirder from here. Controversial opinion, and you can sound off in the comments if you want, but you won't change my mind. I like her attitude. Who needs evidence when you have personal opinions? Um, it's true for me. So how about you don't be a fat phobe? Fat people don't owe you anything. But the world owes fat people accessibility. Nah, fuck off. No one owes you anything. If you have to buy two plane tickets to fit on a plane, you aren't owed anything from that airline. In fact, you owe everyone on the plane because you had to sit your big fucking fat ass in the middle of the fucking flight with your big fungusy folds ruining everyone else's holiday. Modern people are so caught up in their personal bullshit, whether it's their politics, their diet, their gender, that they are ju that makes them who they are. It is what they attach everything to in their lives. And that is just such a strange way to live. Which brings me to, what is a lib? A lib is someone in America who is a liberal, a woke person, a Biden voter. Libs are actually quite intelligent as well. They know for a fact that Donald Trump's great grandfather was Hitler and his stepfather was Mao. I do love American politics. Just watching these people overflow from their petri dish of ridiculousness. It is amazing to look at from an outsider. If you live there, pretty fucked up. But from here, ha! <laughs> <laughs> This is the current climate in political America. There is a question that needs to be thrown in the trash and set on fire. And that is when people ask me, hey, do you have kids? And I respond with, yeah, three. The question is always, boys or girls. And that question needs to be re removed from every single language because it is always super uncomfortable for the other person when I respond with two girls and one non-binary. Oh, wow, Karen, you got yourself a non-binary. That's so cool. Stephanie down the road has one of those. Where'd you get yours from? Mmm, my God. And then they look at me like I have two heads and they're like, what's non-binary again? Well, they don't identify as male or female, it's actually genius. They found a loophole in the system and they get to pave the way and be whoever they want to be without stereotypes. It's brilliant. So not she, nope. For 37 minutes, Dave Chappelle make jokes at my expense. Wow, I can't believe he made a whole show, a dude that was paid $20 million for that special. He made it all about you. Literally about my identity, forgetting that I too live at the intersection of being both black and queer and trans. Because tone deaf jokes like that can get us murdered. Tone deaf jokes like that call for our murder. Get the fuck over yourself. <laughs> oh look, Joe Biden. I used to love to drive. They don't let me drive anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a beautiful Corvette. Joe, you creepy fuck. Naughty, naughty. On the topic of Joe Biden, if you don't like him, you're a racist. Joe Biden! That is disgusting. I agree with fucking Karen Karenson in row C, seat 45. Just racism, pure and simple. So racist to say fuck about a 180 year old politician with dementia. 100% a hate crime. Moving on from the Lord and Saviour Joe Biden, let's talk about dick size. Hey, this guy's tiny, he must be a dwarf. Sorry, I'm not interested in being friends with midgets. Midgets piss me off. So here's old love, she's not interested in men who are under a certain size of cock. And that's up to her, that's her fucking call, whatever. Cock shame away. But this is the same chick. Huh, I'm the comments under this video have been distasteful, disgusting, and outright disrespectful. So hang on, you don't think that 
small cocks, little cocks, medium cocks, average cocks are good enough for you. But if anyone dares attacks your itty bitty titties, then they're the fucking devil. How about you pull your fucking head in? But know this, misgendering someone is no joke. There's a genuine chance that the next person to misgender me might get a punch in the face and I really don't know what to say because there's nothing I can do about it. Shut up, mate. Okay, this is why bullies exist. It, it's, what the fuck are you even saying? Call yourself whatever you want, but if people don't call you it in it's, don't be surprised, because it's not proper English. Hi, my name's Jasper, I use they it pronouns. Hi, my name's Liana, I use they demon pronouns. I mean, now you're just taking the piss. This whole pronouns thing, it's like people in high school who tried to get you to call them by a nickname that they decide. G'day guys, great to meet you. Great to be here. I'll tell you what, uh, my name's Barry, but all my friends call me that guy with the huge cock, so you can call me that. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Can't trust a child to know themselves and their body. Therefore, I propose that all children be put on puberty blockers before they hit puberty. If they're not trans, Cool. They can get off puberty blockers and continue puberty as they were. Yes, let's change everyone to fit a tiny, tiny segment of the population. Sounds, yeah, that sounds good. Let's change all of human biology to make them feel better. Let's put kids on drugs. Yeah, let's, let's fucking do it. If you say that kids are too young to know whether or not they are trans, then that means that kids are too young to know whether or not they are cis. No, they can see with their fucking eyes, mate. Maybe in very rare cases they're born in the wrong body, and if that's the case, then all the power to your sister, brother, they, them, zezers. But in most cases, everybody knows because it's fucking completely normal. Okay, let me put it this way. Would you change the height of doors to fit people who are over 6'10"? Because there's a few people that get around that are over 6'10". I only just scrape under doors. Should, should we change all doors? No. Here's some things that you need to know about me. Number one, if you are a person of, of whiteness, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, she just said that. A person of whiteness. People who use those terms expect people to listen to them and agree with them straight away just because they use those words. If I hear those words, I immediately think you're insane. What do you think is the number one contributing factor to global warming? Agriculture? The fashion industry? Uh, something else? <laughs> I'll tell you a secret. It's the US military. The US military is the world's largest consumer of oil. Is that Tourette's or interpretive dance? You let me know in the comments. The one thing you notice about all these videos is all of these people have problems in their life, but they never accept that those problems may be being created by themselves. They always push the blame to someone else. And that's what they love to do. It's a shit way to live your life, but it's easy. And that's why they do it. The reason we have so much discrimination in the world today is because you feed your children animal products. Oh, of course, there are beautiful vegan folk on here. Mm, my people. From birth, we're taught that certain animals like pets should be loved and cared for. But then these animals over here, cows, pigs, chickens, and fish, should be tortured and murdered. You forgot eaten. They should also be eaten. If we teach humans not to discriminate based on species, we would 100% see far less discrimination amongst our own species. Are you ready for my rebuttal? Shut the fuck up. Basically, if you have been paying attention throughout this video, the point is everyone's racist, especially right-handed people. How being a lefty taught me what I don't know about racism. Right-handed, check your privilege. Right-handed bias everywhere. Right-handed privilege. Fuck me. Since when do we start listening to the most insane people in the world? I need to take a break for my fucking mental health. But here's one for good measure. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Mid extinct. Toodle of Bye bye. Hi, I'm Lynx Wildcat. I am a polyamorous, pansexual, lesbian, non-binary, trans woman. I'm also a furry. And my pronouns are she, her, and he. Fucking subscribe and then go check out and cancel me now.